Presenting our national officials of this match. First referee, Mr. Patrick Alan Castillo. Second referee, Mr. Fernando Velarde. Now let us meet your starters for the PLDT High Speed Hitters. Starting off with jersey number five, Erika Santos. At number six, Savannah Davison. Jersey number nine, Kim Fajardo. At number 10, Majoy Baron. Jersey number 13, Del Palomata. At 14, Keisha Bedonia. Team captain and starting libero, Cap Arado. With our head coach, Mr. Ron Rickaford. Introducing the starting lineup for the Signal HD Spikers. Calling on their team captain, number seven, Francis Molina. They're in jersey number two, Rosalind Doria. At number five, Vanessa Gandler. Jersey number 18, Maribel Manessas. At 21, Jovelin Gonzaga. At number 22, Jelka Cayuga. Starting libero is number 16, Dol Katindi. Head coach is Mr. Shaq De Los Santos. This match is under the regulations and supervision of the Games and Amusements Board. May the best be. Here are the starters for the PLDT High Speed Hitters. Baron, Palomata, Santos, Fajardo, Arado, Davison, and Keisha Bedonia mm -hmm. getting the start here. Usually a spark plug off the bench. Let's sure. turn it over now to Signal with Meneses, Doria, Gonzaga, Cayuna, Katindi, Gandler, Molina. So not a lot of changes there for Signal. Once again, Jaime Escalon here with my partner Ayel Estraniero here in the Santa Rosa Sports Complex in Laguna. And Ayel, just to put it to context again, Signal is out of contention. PLDT, they are still, they still have a chance to make it to the final four, but five teams vying for that four spots. So uh, a lot at stake here for the PLDT high-speed hitters. They want to get this game to tie things up with the Cherry Tigo crossovers, who again won earlier against the Akari Chargers. Fajardo, back set to Santos as PLDT that was outside. Too much angle from that attack of Santos. She saw that uh, she had an opportunity to hammer that down, but uh, too much angle for her. I like the aggression, though, of Erica Santos because that's been her question. Who will be true. that second scorer for PLDT? It's important that PLDT stays aggressive offensively. So the Doña sending that one outside. Signal getting the first two points here. May halong digil din yata tong PLDT playing with a lot more pressure, Ayel. That's true. Uh, do you see the effort to really try to power through the defense of the HD Spikers, but they are yet to be successful. And Signal targeting Davison. Easy regalo there. As why don't we add uh, Lexi Rodriguez now to the group chat. Let's check in with her. Jaime and Ayel, their last game might have been a bit of a Davison show, but you know, hopefully, Erika Santos might just be the other X factor for the BLDT high speed hitters. You know, I had a conversation with her earlier, and she told me that no matter how much they try to make up excuses for their loss against Cherry Tigo, it all boils down to not being able to deliver what needed to be done that day. After that match, she really thought, what just happened? Hindi naman kami ganun maglaro. Erika says, BLDT is the type to want that pressure, they're the type to thrive under pressure. Perhaps the game was a reminder of their hunger for victory. But you know, another team that is hungry for today is the Signal HD Spikers. So let's find out who is hungrier for a win on the Filipinas Live app that is available for Filipinos everywhere. Now back to you, Jaime. That's a great point by Lexi. You mean sa talaga pag you know, the pressure adds on to when you're playing. Yeah, you played under Coach Rao, though. He's a good uh, calmer That's uh, true. effect for the players. That's true. Always uh, technical and a good motivator. But right now, Signal off to a great start for serving one, says Molina. Ladonia with a pickup to the quick. 
Denied. Uh, the good serving right now of the Signal HD Spikers uh, puts a PLDD in out of system and it, that allows them to read the offense of a PLDT easier. So PLDT right now, they need a good first ball for them to be able to execute because this is a strong start for the Signal HD Spikers. Even their body language looks really good. That's From the good. back row, Davison bumped by Kayuna Gonzaga on the move and a rejection by PLDT. Roy Baron reading that one well. Says Molina setting up Gonzaga. Gonzaga trying to go cross court, your usual angle, but Baron closing her down. Keisha Bedonia now serving. And a service ace for Bedonia. That's two straight points now for PLDT. You mentioned earlier how uh, Bedonia is a spark plug usually, coming off of the bench for the high-speed hitters. But uh, right now, a lot of trust given to, hit, to her by uh, Coach Raldrick Afford. Although that time she has a service error. It's a lot of errors here so far for PLDT. Again, you mentioned uh, more pressure is on them. This is an important game for them. But uh, they need to recompose themselves early on in the set. Top serve, Arado will play setter. Davison elevates and scores. Uh, Davison, again, in the pregame, you mentioned 22 points for her. The only player in double digits in the previous game against uh, the Cherry Giga crossovers. Firing through Meneses. Over receive, almost a regalo. Kneeling set for Vanny. Calf. Bell. Cayuna. Back to Gandler. Davison over the double block. She was denied. Ooh. Davison will try again. A great play there coming from a. Kim Fajardo of faking that one. Take a look at Fajardo faking a jump, trying to go for offense last second, setting up Davison. No blocker there in the cross court angle. That's just classic Kim Fajardo. Cayuna. Bit of an overset there. Bump set to the back. Molina straight to the net. Molina not ready for that uh, back row set from Angel Cayuna. So PLDT is tying things up right now after a strong start of the HD Spikers. 3-0 run now for PLDT. Baron to serve, straight to Gonzaga. Cayuna straight to Meneses. Meneses with a simple play in that sequence. Be quick attack for her, just tipping that one over. No one read that well on the side of the high-speed hitters. That puts an end to the 3-0 run for PLDT. Good pass, good set. Easy attack again for Savvy. Picardo and Davison really has uh, built and improved that connection. And that's a reason why Davison can really be deadly as an outside hitter. It's only their first conference playing together as well. They've developed that chemistry. Gandler denied access by the double block. Palomata with a block. That will send us to our first technical timeout here. Eight to seven is the count.
Marina Plus Astig sa Sports. We're back here in the city of Santa Rosa. Kim Fajardo now serving after a slow start from BLDT. Managed to get a 3-0 run. Nice serve there. Molina attacks. Cap sets to the quick. Ball kept in play. Here comes Molina. Fajardo with a dig. Arado bump set into Savvy. Goes to drop. Buhay pa rin. Gangler. Pancake save. Free ball signal. Katindig. Kayuna. To the back row, Molina. There's that digging we were talking about. Gel. To the open. And that one, south side. Vanny will get the point. A great rally coming from both teams. Lot of good exchanges, especially in the floor defense. Take a look at the ja Davis and Pancake save, but uh, Jalka Yuna with a fast low set to Gandler finishing that long rally. Ano mo dalat sa pregame ay yung floor defense ay nang floor defense. Well, we're seeing that right now. The Donya targeted Santos. She scores with the help of the net as they take the lead back here. Santos avoiding the blocker in that one. Jalka Yuna hesitating. Nine serving eight. Gel will give it to Sess. Doug Arado to the other side. That one was sent outside by Erika Santos. You see the effort right now on the side of uh, the high speed hitters to set up Erika Santos. Oh, but a uh, couple of attack errors coming from her. Tied at nine. They're really targeting Davison here. Making her work today. Palomata from the middle. And this is what Palomata can offer for the PLDP high speed hitters. A simple set, a simple A-quick set, but uh, Palomata with the height and length to go for the power dip. An easy outing for her. Gonzaga, first ball. Molina, soft touch. Again, the two teams will try to outsmart each other, knowing that they have, you know, good liberos talking about... Uh, Don Makandili Katindik earlier on the side of Signal and uh, Kat Arado on the side of uh, PLDT. Well, the middle blockers will be quite the matchup to watch. That's true. Fajardo to the opposite side. Kayuna back set to Gonzaga. Breaking the block, she gets the point. Gonzaga powering through the block of uh, Baron and Begonia. Small gap there, squeeze that one in. Kaf will give it to Santos. Going back to Lexi's report, they're trying to open up a lot more players here. They've been giving it to Erika Santos for once. They're trying to give her more opportunities to score, make the blockers on her side work. And that's also because I'm sure that Signal studied uh, Davison a lot. So as you mentioned in the pregame, who is the next person up for the PLDT high speed hitters? And that person definitely is, potentially, can be Erika Santos. Which is sometimes a real blessing then, and mo alam mm -hmm. to score for PLDT. So it can be used as a weapon for the high speed hitters. In the meantime, Calf to the pipe. Blocking was there. Rostoria. Big block there against Davison. Take a look at this replay. Fajardo trying to look for Davison from the back row, but Doria again, we keep talking how underrated she is. Spot block there. 13 serving 11. It's been a game of runs so far here. Early double sub on the side of uh, PLDT. Arado, secondary setter. That one checked out. Point goes to Bedonia. Been aggressive as well. Getting a start. Did play well against SGA. Had a exactly. double-digit performance there. 
for Bedonia in their previous games has really gave the crucial points, delivered the crucial points for PLDT. Molina coming from behind. DMAC just checked in. Roll shot goes in for Savvy Davison. Double sub working so far for the high speed hitters. The Bakulangan setting up Davison. And uh, again, Davison just playing it simple. Off speed attack straight to Gandler, but Gandler late on that one. That's her fourth point now, talking about Savvy Davison. Another deadlock we have here. Kayuna, one, two, play! The referee saying. That was a perfect receive coming from uh, Don Makandili Katindig. Kayuna trying to go for a one two play. With the point? Goes to PLDT because Kayuna currently is in the back row, so that was a violation. So PLDT will take the lead there. And an easy regalo for Savvy on that over receive. Just a pass cover from the air earlier as uh, Begonia continues to serve well for the high speed hitters. Proving why she deserves to be part of that starting lineup. Begonia has been playing well. 15 serving 13. Kayuna adjusts. Gandler offhand. Arado, bump set, Samonte will try. And there's uh, nothing really uh, different that PLD is doing. They're keeping it simple, but it has been effective for them. Effective enough for them to have a three-point lead technical timeout here. Some live sports viewing is guaranteed with Signal yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Switch now and get up to three months with no cash out. Visit www.signal.tv switch for more details. As it was PLDT that took us to our second technical timeout here in the first set. Once again, Jaime Escalon with Ayel Estraniero and Lexi Rodriguez manning the sidelines. So far, PLDT, once Signal makes a run, they've been composed here. Exactly, they're quick to go for a side out and uh, PLDT kept it steady despite the fact that the Signal HD Spiker started strong in the set. As that player serving has been a difference maker in Keisha Bedonia. How will Signal respond? Well, 5-0 run put to an end by Vanny Gandler. Much needed point here for the HD Spikers as uh, Kayuna sets up Gandler again. So far, Gandler has been contributing some sparks here for the HD Spikers. Doria targets Arado. DMAC. Mm. Bit of a miscue there for PLDT. The Mokolan trying to activate the Boron in that one, but Meneses ready to go for that block. Naunahan na ni Meneses. D-map. Savvy on the move. Savvy reloads and gets another point. Great rebound there coming from Gonzaga off that first attempt of Davison. Take a look at his replay. Gonzaga had a good hold in it, but the urgency was there on the side of Davison to go for the hit right away at target zone one. Kayuna got uh, caught out of position. 
Kayuna sprints to the ball. Gandler sends it over. Dimac to Savvy Davison. And again, when you have a Palomata who is a capable attacker as a middle, you really need to guard her. The reason why Meneses was late in trying to go to close for the block. And timeout is called here. Three point lead for PLDT. Okay. Mas maga yung mga balik. Important points there coming from uh, Coach Sa. No, first, sabi niya, you know, the rebounds are good. They just need to get a second touch. And uh, another one was uh, telling Jalcayuna to get some combination plays going. As we saw some lively Santa Rosa crowd here. It's always a lively uh, place to play. Blocking on point for PLDT, Gonzaga. Dug by Dimac. Baron will play setter. Samonte pushes. Cayuna on the counter to the quick. Not yet. PLDT, one more try. Savvy, she's been hot. Getting dig with a dig. Here comes Gonzaga. That's the sequence we've been talking about. Great floor defense, Ariel. Uh, that's true. Take a look at this thing. Oh, but the on Makandili getting big. And Gonzaga just delivering that point off the cross court attack. Lots of good exchanges so far. Both teams really coming in ready. Both teams wanting to bounce back after there's three straight losses. As we now see a double substitution for Signal. C and Basas entering the ball game. D Mac wanting Palomata for that one. That one goes inside. Again, Palomata delivering uh, some points here. Really hard to defend given, you know, the spike reach. She can really go different angles. For Harden now with a full front line. Holding on to this three-point lead. Giselle C. This time, one-handed set. Davison attacking two blockers, looking to go cross. And sending that one wide. Okay, blocking for Davison this time, coming from the safety spikers for Davison to avoid to widen that attack. Vanny Gambler coming off an eight-point performance. Now serving, Davison targeted once again to give it back to Savvy. Give and go there. A faster and a more powerful hit this time. This spike of the set is brought to you by Duncan Pasalubo Nangbaya. Setters has done a good job of putting only one blocker on Davison. Fortunately, a service every there. Big signal here at fans to gain momentum. Fajardo, with off timing with Santos. Molina will try, denied. Double block time for Erika Santos and Del Palomata. Uh, that play read perfectly by PLDT. As they still hold on to a three-point lead, 21-18 here. Okay, cover tayo, cover. Okay? Uh, 
that time out felt like it was for Palomata. As you take a, take a look at his replay, a solid block coming from Palomata. Uh, sabi ni Coach siya, no, mataas talaga yung block ni Palomata. So they really need to find a way to avoid her blocking. Sheila Kaseya also seeing some minutes here in set number one. As PLDT, they're holding on to this three-point lead. This has been the magic number, a three-point advantage. Kim Pahada clarifying something with our first referee. We shall continue here. Sharp serve. C. Back set. Basas checked. Calf in transition to Santos. That was dug by Giselle C. Free ball, PLDT. Fajardo, back set to Erika. Who will not catch the line. This opportunity there for Santos. Good setup from uh, Kim Fajardo. Only one blocker there. Isa kasi ayal, pag alam mong bukas na, mm. nagigigil ka na rin eh, di ba? Now, Cayuna, with a front line of Gonzaga, Molina, and Doria. Let's see how she takes advantage here. Miss receive. Santos sends it over. Dawn will play setter. Here comes Gonzaga. So, momentum right now. It's with the signal is these spikers. Take a look at this replay. How about that pump set? Oh, that's true. And Gonzaga delivering the point. High hands there. And now the lead is just down to one. Timeout call PLDT. <laughs> So time up there for PLDT as they want to keep the lead because right now Signal slowly finding their groove here in the end stretch of the first set. Signal, of course, playing for pride. Looking to play spoilers versus PLDT. Here comes Santos with the roll. Molina on the move, and she will score. We are tied at 21. Again, given the good defense of both teams, they need to find a way to outsmart each other as uh, Seth Molina goes for displacement shot. No one there on the side of the high-speed hitters. 3-0 run for Signal. Putting an end to it. That's a 4-0 run now for the HD Spikers. Solid block coming from Gonzaga. I mean, only one blocker there for Bitonia. She wanted to go cross court, but uh, Gonzaga reading that one well. But on. Putting an end to that 4 0 run. Deadlock again at 22. In Fajardo wanting a quicker transition, a quicker side up. Chooses Baron for the uh, B quick attack. Santos serving to Gandler. Cayuna opens up Gonzaga. She's been the hot hand. Arado oh. keeps it in play. Get in dig. Cayuna back set. Go! Cross court kill! Gonzaga on a fire in that sequence, but Kat Arado with that effort. But again, they were transitioning back. Only one blocker. Gonzaga going for the deep attack. Gonzaga had four points last game, has five points in the first set as Majoy Baron. She has been the fire extinguisher here <laughs> in set number one. That's true. In this end stretch, when they need a point, Baron has been delivering. 
great connection. I mean, this is a tested and proven connection. Kim Fakarda and Magoy Baron. Because they've been wearing green. They've been practicing that. As now, we are tied at 23. Bedonia serving. Cayuna to the middle. That one was checked. Arado sets it up. Savi will approach. Katindig, bump set, Gonzaga, she's been hot, she's denied! Majoy Baron with important points for the high-speed hitters. The last three points of the high-speed hitters all coming from Majoy Baron. This is now set point. But a service error will be creating an extended set here, Ariel. A very crucial one coming from Bedonia. She was rushing to go for that serve. Crucial service here for Rose Doria. He targets Arado as calf. Target Savvy, that one slowed down by the blockers. Cayuna wanting Gandler. Check at the net, Vanny one more time. Kaff sets it up, Davison will get the point. I mean, who will Kim Fajardo go to? Obviously, it's going to be Davison. And the Davison delivers, delivers that point off the hands of the blockers. Hello, sister, sister. <laughs> Hello, sister, sister. It's a matchup. As we are now at set point once again. Vanny offhand. Davison picks it up. Cap sets it to Palomata. And that does it for set number one, a close one, won by PLDT. Standard giving away an easy one, and uh, that got PLDT to organize and be in transition, Palomata with the last point. It's the middle blocker is coming out in the clutch to finish set number one as we look at our final tally, 26-24. We'll take a break and we'll bring you set number two. A nail-biting 30 minutes as PLDT takes the first set versus Signal 26 to 24. Let's take a look at a recap of what happened in that close set, Ayel. It was a close one. Game of runs, really, That's after true. a slow start from PLDT. They went uh, neck and neck in the middle of that set till uh, the last point. I mean, it was an extended set. Uh, Signal started strong, jog juggling Gonzaga, producing points, consecutive points 
for the Signal HD Spikers, but the PLDT High Speed Hitters just coming alive right on time to close that set. Magoy Baron with important points. Del Palomata making it so difficult for the offense of uh, the HD Spikers with her good blocking. And I have to mention Kim Fajardo, very steady, very composed playmaking so far. Uh, so we take a look at the numbers of uh, that uh, first set match. Of course, uh, looking at the numbers, really, Savvy Davison going to war with Jov Gonzaga. Savvy Davison has eight points now. Is Gonzaga having five? She already has more points than she did last game. Now, let's take a look at the statistics here. Uh, there you go. 19 attack points against uh, for PLDT against the 10 of the Signal HD Spikers. Both teams, they displayed good um, net defense, but PLDT even giving away more, you know, free points, more errors for Signal, but really the separation happened in the attack points. More hits, really, more conversion coming from uh, the PLDT high speed hitters. As we welcome you to the second set here in Santa Rosa, I'm Escalon, Nayel Estranero with Lexi Rodriguez as our court side. Looking at the body language, much better than they did, both of these teams both from that last game. Uh, but again, uh, more at stake for the high-speed hitters as Abaron continues to deliver points for the high-speed hitters this time off a kill block. Both Baron and Palomata saying, kami na bahala to back up Savvy Davison. The blocking has been on point here. The middle blockers of PLDT going to work. Kayuna, Molina, check. Katindig puts it up. Kayuna to the back row. Gandler. Easy pickings over Doug. That's Bedonia going drop. Kayuna close to the net. Molina sends it over, but whistle was blown in PLDT's favor. Kayuna and the Molina did not connect on that one. Molina could not adjust to get the ball in on the side of the high speed hitters. Service air there for Del Palomata. Everything is almost perfect on the side of the high speed hitters, but uh, they need to look into it. There's one department, it's definitely their errors. They don't want to give away the same number. T 10 free points for signal is just too big for them. Sharp serve. Back set. Santos, off the block, count the point. Janina, I mentioned that, that uh, Davison is going to be that uh, go-to player who will be the next person up. But right now, everyone's stepping up for the high-speed hitters. We've mentioned Baron, Palomata, Bedonia, even Santos. So team effort, really, from PLDT. Fajardo, looking to go 1-2. Battle at the net. Gonzaga will try. Another chance here for Signal. Molina from the other side. Regalo, Arado with the reflexes. Bedonia rolls. And no one there to get that ball. No PLDT not giving up in all rallies. I mean, Signal is these fighters had a lot of opportunity to easily score a point, but the effort of the floor defense has been impeccable on the side of the high speed hitters. And Pedonia just, you know, spinning that one over, playing with the timing of the blocking of Signal. Better start to the set for PLDT in comparison to the first. Molina going cross. Yes. Let's check in now with Lexi. She has a report for us. Lexi. Right, Jaime. Thanks, Jaime and Ayel. But, you know, as we've seen, the Signal HG Spikers have this tendency to punch points together. But the problem that they're dealing with right now is learning how to sustain that power punches. You know, actually, Vanny shared the same sentiment with me. And she shared that she's still continuously learning how to do good. But she did say that the past games have been a tough, especially for setting that positive mindset every game day. And Ayel, you did mention that Vanny has been contributing much to the sparks for the HG Spikers, but she's realizing that in the pros, stagnation isn't an option. Players must adapt to a more dynamic 
style of play. And that means when she is contributing points, she is also to contribute good energy. And speaking of contribution, you can contribute and join in the conversation on the Filipinas Live app. You can watch PBL games live and in HD anytime and anywhere in the world. Now back to you, Jaime Anayel. That's a great story from Lexi because, you know, you can't stagnate mm -hmm. here yeah, in the PBL. True. This is already the toughest league in the Philippines. And everyone leveling up every game. You have to keep up. That's a double contact, I believe. Lifting. Violation there on Madroy Baron. Three point here for Signal. Tied at four now. Back row. No check there. So Signal with a run of their own. It's been a game of runs really that's here. True. And that's what they need. Signal uh, needs to get a run here because uh, it's a 4 0 run so far because PLDD also, they have been steady. One to play. Jim Fajardo putting an end to that run with some finesse. <laughs> A very graceful one to play there. Very deceiving. No one anticipated that on the side of the HD Spiders. I have to mention Kim Fajardo has been that uh, steady player on the side of uh, PLDT so far. There's the errors you were talking about. Three point for a signal. Based on the trajectory, uh, might be a long game here we have in our favor. This error, most of it coming from the service line, wherein, uh, you know, the player has full control over it. Speaking of trading errors, that's Jen Kasugod, who also had some minutes in their last game. And again, the service is very important because uh, that's where it all starts. Sharp serve from Baron. Vanny goes drop. Back coverage. Fajardo sets Savvy off the block. Signal has got to stop giving easy balls to the PLDT high speed hitters because they're just capitalizing on it and they're converting points out of it. Signal has to be aggressive in offense right now. Cayuna, Gonzaga coming in hot. Davison trying to go for the soft touch. Hey, look, it's Jackie Acuna. She played well in that last game. We had six points. Acuna uh, has been coming off the bench a lot of times. But there you go. Acuna admitting to that uh, head touch violation. Fair play moment for Jackie Acuna. Great sportsmanship. So point will be given. So that will send us to a technical timeout after that fair play moment. Plus, Astigs Sports back after that technical timeout. Baron serving with a two point advantage. Acuna on the slide. Captain Dig ups it for Vanny. Trying to go long. 
Signal was asking for a check. First referee will be giving that check. As so Chen just lead down to one. A good decision there from Gander to go for high hands and go for a long attack. Gonzaga now serving. Davison challenging the double block, but she was denied. And with only two blockers in the front row, Signal with an easier time to read that set. Two blockers already with Davison. Great blocking formation there for Cayuna and Acuna. No spaces at all. And we are deadlocked again at eight. Service ace for Jov Gonzaga. She's been playing quite well. We saw her heat up in that first set. That's true. There's one player who provided that intensity, that aggressiveness on the side of uh, the HD Spikers. It has been Gonzaga so far. PLD. PLD team looking to respond here. Fajardo will play attacker. Molina, Doug, Davison pushes. Nice save there from Sess. Savi, Calf to Palomata. Again, the trans balls, the easy balls, PLDD. They're able to capitalize on it as uh, Fajardo got a chance to set up Palomata. Seven excellent sets already for Kim Fajardo. It's been a wet spot here mm -hmm. on the floor, safe first. They target Gonzaga, Cayuna. Could not connect with Vanny, but they managed luckily to get that point. That's true. Good adjustment there coming from Gander. And Santos trying to adjust her block, but unfortunately scraped the net. Signal now with the lead here. And a service ace for Vanny Gandler. This is a trend we're begin beginning to see. The opposing team always targeting Savvy with the serves and with the attacks. Maybe trying to tire out here, Ayel. That's true. That could be a good strategy for them. Again, they want to slow down the leading scorer of uh, the high-speed hitters in uh, Savvy Davison. Because we saw that in that last game versus Cherry. They're doing the same thing. Palomata. But this can be good news for the high-speed hitters. Davison being slowed down, but other players stepping up as uh, Kim Fajardo sets up Palomata again. And the connection really has been unstoppable so far. Ayuna adjusts to get that set across. Palomata, she's been hot. Cayuna. Not yet. Fajardo to Bedonia. Gandler digs, Cayuna sets, Molina attacks. Rally we have ongoing, Davison puts an end. DT looking so organized in that rally. Rebound from the block, a dig from uh, Kat Aradon, a setup to Davison. Another day at the office for Savvy Davison already with 11 points. Okay, that's a service error. Common theme we've been seeing here. Ball in, ball out challenge. Mm -hmm. oh, that uh, serve of Davison was called in, but uh, signal challenging this one. Ball in, ball out challenge for them. And the player is asking to go to the middle of the court again. Uh, coaches, players are not allowed to talk during a challenge. So clearly outside. So a successful challenge here for the HD Spikers. But from our angle, okay, no, nah, 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 nah. So it looked like it was outside. So. And I mean the coaching staff of uh, Signal HD Spikers are right, right in on front. the end line. Sabay-sabay sila nag-react eh. <laughs> Alam mo, nakita lahat. 
All right, so Signal will retake the lead here with Acuna serving. It's been a crawl to that 25th point. Both teams fighting for every point here. Nice pass from Arado. And that's what happens. Palomata scoring once more. Palomata really has been the go-to player right now. This spike of the set is brought to you by Duncan Pasalubo ng Bayan. Seventh point of Del Palomata has been highly efficient in this game. We open up Molina here. Signal was asking for a check. Sabi na PLDT wala. So Signal will decide to challenge. Cayuna trying to go for combination plays, but uh, Cesc Molina in the middle with that press play. Molina trying to target zone one in the previous rally. So it's a block touch challenge. They were successful the last time around. And again, Cayuna is being challenged to be more creative right now given the good blocking and floor defense of PLDT. Yeah. That's two straight successful challenges for Coach Shaq and Signal. And so the hit of Molina touch the hand of the Santos. Nice to see Cesc Molina and <laughs> smiling after that one. We talked about her uh, during the pregame, how her leadership in today's game will be very crucial. We go to Santos. Molina with back-to-back -back points. Was hit by Santos wanted to just tip that one over, but uh, great timing in the block of uh, Cesc Molina. Now a two-point lead for the HD Spikers. Cayuna continues to serve here. Davison has been the main target. Bedonia slowed down by the blockers. Tight to the net. Fajardo in transition. Baron with a tip. Janela bump set to Gonzaga they go. Bedonia will try again. Blockers were ready. Arado sending over a chance ball. To the slide. Nabitin. Signal had some opportunities to score a point, but the floor defense of the PLDT has been solid so far. Now we're going to be seeing a double substitution. DMAC. Checking in with Jules Samonte. And this substitution, this double sub worked earlier in the first set. That's where they gained that uh, momentum that carried on towards the end stretch. What a luxury, the best team mak yung double sub. <laughs> Lot of teams with a deep bench. Kayuna underhand set. Gonzaga was read well. Solid blocking so far by the high speed hitters. I mean, Majoy Baron and uh, Joe Samonte teaming up, but uh, Majoy Baron will be will get the kill block. No coverage on the side of uh, Signal. I think I've said the word deadlock a lot in the first <laughs> two sets. That's how good our game so far. Nice serve there from D Mac. Molina from the right pin. And they could not get a handle of that ball. Molina slowly heating up here. Mm -hmm. That's going to be uh, big for uh, Signal. They want the leading scorer, their leader. That one goes straight outside. She's so trying to target the middle of Arado and Davison there. I mean, for both teams, so much intention in their service is serving. It's just that sometimes there's too much power, they can't control it. But the intention is really to start to serve strong. Tabla na naman po tayo at 15. 
Molina, nice first pass. Gonzaga translating it to a point. And Gonzaga will be sending us to our second technical timeout here after this nice attack from Jel Cayuna. Our score. It's back and forth between these two teams. It's been a chess match between these two coaches. The remaining game of Signal is at April 27 versus Capital One. So there's Spikers. As we mentioned in the top of the coverage, they are no longer in contention for that final four. But what are the next two games? I mean, this game for PLDT and then going against the defending champions in Creamline. The big games coming for the PLDT high speed hitters. That that's how important this game is because their next game is against another upper rank team in Cream Line. As uh, Majoy Baron continues to deliver points for the high speed hitters, really quality and productive minutes for Baron in the front row. Got the kill block, a point from an A quick attack. Now that's the kind of support that Davison needs. Great playmaking from Ria de Makolangan as well. Molina from the pipe. Bedonia reaches from the right pin. Baron looking to play setter. Samonte, not yet. Gonzaga quick to attack. Here comes Jules one more time. And she challenges Cayuna for that one. The attempts for Jules Samonte, but finally. Delivered one for the high-speed hitters. Took advantage of that really big gap in between the blockers. Cayuna had a difficult time trying to read that one. Clear activation for the middle blocker. Seven points now for Baron. Off system here. PLDT looking to capitalize and they do with a cross-court kill. And that spike from Savvy Davison forces Signal to call a timeout here. Here's that last play, Savvy Davison. Too quick for Don to react. I mean, only one blocker again for Davison. He can't just have one blocker, he knows how to uh, take advantage of that. So talaga yung embodiment ko anong high speed hitter, <laughs> diba? That's true. All right, here we go. Davison pushes. Kayuna back set. Jov. Another try here for Signal. They go to Vanny. Another error coming from Signal. And the PLDT is able to make a run here. This could be one of their strongest rotation because they have Baron, their leading server. Baron currently sixth in serving overall. And they have Palomata, Davison, and Samonte in the front row. It's now a 4-0 run, Ayel, for Signal. Acuna was red, Troncoso red as well. So they go to Molino from the back. 
Bedonia looking to set it up. Samonte had to adjust. Cayuna, bump set. Poncoso was checked. Here comes Samonte. Palomata, signal, not giving an inch with their blockings. Signal scrambling the floor defense, but found a way to close down Del Palomata. Del Palomata trying to go for that hit right away in that second touch, but uh, Acuna reading that one well. We're seeing the emergence of Jackie Acuna late in the season. That's true. Miss receive, Savvy, tried to outsmart the blockers, but won't go that time. Acuna run here for the Bixby Spikers. Looks like a challenge will be called. So a block touch challenge. From PLDD. Important challenge, really. It's true. So PLDD after this game has one more game versus Creamline. And it's a fight for all between Choco Mucho, Creamline, Petrogas. BLDD and Cherry Ego. They mentioned the competition is heated up, a race to the semis. But for this challenge, this could, you know, if it goes either way, this is still good for the high speed hitters. They got an opportunity to regroup. So, mm -hmm. so there's no block touch that time. Challenge is unsuccessful for Coach Roderick Afford. Could have uh, been used as a timeout there. <laughs> nice serve. Gonzaga aces. Gonzaga came in this game prepared. Getting that ace off the hands of Bedonia. Go back to our magic word. We're deadlock at 19. Savvy. Met by the blockers. She goes again one more time. Molina, what a dig. Troncoso on the move. DMAP. Davison approaches with the cross. Cayuna on attack mode. Boy Paren, whistle was blown in favor of Signal here. Another net error coming from uh, PLDP. Let's take a look at this replay. It was a Davison trying to press her hands in. Unfortunately, could not control her momentum. Samonte puts an end to the 4-0 run of Signal. Samonte very aggressive in that attack. Also took advantage of the loose block of Acuna. Great uh, set from the Makulangan. We're beginning to see a battle of the benches as well between these two teams. Fajardo now has a full front line with Palomata, Santos, and Davison. She has 10 excellent sets. The target Katindig. Pipe, Molina. That catches the line, and Signal takes the lead. And that combination play surprises the high-speed hitters. Great shot, great angle there for Molina, right on the line. Troncoso serving, clinging to a one-point lead. We are tied after that service error. Similar storyline to what happened in that first set. Again, towards his end stretch, he can't really commit those kinds of errors. That's going to be very costly. And you know, with a nice pass, Molina, soft touch. Palomata transitioning to a quick. Here comes Bedonia. Cayuna looking to go 1 2. Back set. Red well. The blocking of Signal really has been on point here in set number two. That's true. Great transition there for the blocking, especially for Acuna. But uh, Molina will get the kill block. That's her second kill block of the set.
And Palomata. Kanina si Majoy Baron yung papatay suno. Ngayon si Palomata naman for BLGT. And that was coming off a good uh, receive from Arado. Talking about Baron, she's now in the front row. Timeout is called. Tied at 22 here in set number two. Pag gumatake, cover tayo, cover. Tingin, ngayon pag nakuha nila, black ulit. Yung defense ulit natin dito. Oh. Diba? Matras lang, matras. Pero habang umatake to, yan mo muna dyan. Ngayon pag umangat, saka kumatras. Ah, okay. Eh, tara, papatayin okay. na lang. Let's go! All pa lang yan, all. Kailangan natin makuha muna ito. Let's go, signal! Let's go, signal! That move is brought to you by Honda Motorcycle. Adjustment there from Palomata. Palomata closing on in a double-digit game here. Some crucial serves here from Sheila Caseo. Katindig, perfect first ball to the slide. Doug, Joust, dug down. Buhay pa rin, Cayuna. I'm a little excited there. You get the intention of Cayuna wanting to force that ball over because PLDT was still transitioning. Take a look at this replay. They were scrambling. Cayuna, Cayuna knew she had the advantage. Unfortunately, she couldn't execute in the previous sequence. A one point lead clinged on to. By PLDT Caseo remains on the service line. Sharp serve. Cayuna to the open. With great reaction from Fajardo. Gel back to Cess. And Molina <laughs> reminding us why she is the MVP here in the PBL. Exactly. Can defend her twice. So she will definitely score a point with only one blocker in this one. Caseo did not contain that attack. Virtual race to two. Kayuna set to serve. A sharp one to Savi. Calf. Wanting Santos. Ooh. Lucky break for PLDT there. I mean, luck was definitely on the side of PLDT in that previous sequence. That was read well by Molina. But Santos still getting that point. Get script those things, I yell. <laughs> we arrive at set point. Molina trying to save it. Fajardo. Baron. Gonzaga to tie. Doria. Davison back row. Doug. Katindig bump set. Here comes Molina. We are tied at 24. Another extended set. As a Molina. Takes over the rally and goes cross court. I mean, it was even on the zone of Cat Arado. Just too much power and speed in that attack. Cesc Molina has been on takeover mode here. So I think second set, 10 points, with eight attacks. Not the best receive. Free ball signal. Gel will go to Go. Gonzaga there. The Donya, another free ball. Gonzaga goes drop. Baron with the reflexes. Bedonia. That one is outside. First referee saying there's a check. So our linesman saying it was outside. First referee saw a check. So we we're now seeing a challenge here from Signal. <laughs> Tough angle for us to know what really happened, but you see the effort of both teams to fight for that point. An important point here, if this challenge is successful, 
Signal gets an advantage, a one point up, but if it is unsuccessful, PLDT gets this one. Two extend, extended sets in a row. <laughs> I mean, uh, we knew how big of a game this is. This is a good matchup. This is two upper rank teams talking about the race to the semis. Unfortunately, you know, the fate of uh, Signal depended on that game of Petrogas and uh, Cheritigo. But PLDT high stakes here. They want to tie things up with the Cheritigo. Use that challenge. So no block touch. The point will go to Signal. They just went to the challenges of the day. That's true. Good challenges coming from uh, Signal. I think they're perfect. They're three for three here in our second set, which is why Coach Shaq is smiling. <laughs> They'll now be clinging to a one-point lead, but before that, a timeout is called. Regardless, you can be getting it. Huh? It's not a good a clean side out. That's what they need to tie things up to get a chance to get this second set. Two spikers in the front row for the high speed hitters. Meanwhile, we have uh, three attackers in the front row of the Signal HD spikers. So let's see who will Kim Fajardo go to. Calf. She will go to Bedonia. And Signal takes set number two. 26-24, a reversal of fortunes here. But before that, the challenge muna, a PLDT. Now, Bedonia had the smart move. Went for a long tip to zone one, where no one was there on the side of the HD spikers. But it could have been... Uh, too much for her. And there you have it. Challenge is unsuccessful. Signal will claim that second set. We are tied here in Santa Rosa with one set apiece. I like how they're showing the Molina jerseys because Ses Molina was the main character. We'll talk more of her. But here's that final tally. 37 minutes in that second set.
After the second set, Signal hitting PLDT with a reverse Uno card here <laughs> in Santa Rosa, winning 26 to 24. Let's take a look at some of the highlights and what took that, uh, what happened in that set, Ayel, because similar tempo to that first set, but this time Signal was able to finish strong. That's true, both teams go neck and neck, fighting for every point, a lot of deadlocks. In that set, I mean, it could have been anybody's set, honestly, towards that end stretch. It was a matter of having, you know, one good execution, two good con execution consecutively. If, if there's one player who stepped up big towards that end stretch on the side of the signal HD spikers, it was a definitely Cesc Molina, their captain, as you take a look at the numbers. PLDT is still better in terms of attack points. 15 for them against a 9 of a Signal. Signal slowing down the attacking. They tried to with 4 kill blocks against the 2 of PLDT. But uh, we talked about the errors earlier. Towards the end stretch, it can be really costly. And it did for the high speed hitters. 10 errors for them. 10 free points for the Signal HD Spikers. Meanwhile, uh, Signal only with uh, 7 uh, unforced errors. So for PLDT, that's something they need to look into because in terms of attacking, they have uh, had a separation and disparity from a Signal, but uh, they're not able to play as clean as they want, they want to for them to be able to get that second set. 10 errors in the first set for PLDT, then another 10. So something they need to keep an eye on as we head on over here to the third set of this game, tied at one apiece. Jaime Ascalon with Ayala Stoniero, Lexi Rodriguez with the stories from the sideline. We're seeing the activations on the side for PLDT for Majoy Baron, Del Palomata, but in that second set, Ces Molina on Q <laughs> was the main character of that second set with two kill blocks and some crucial attacks in the endgame. And uh, we knew that uh, Ces Molina is coming into this game wanting to bounce back. She was the leading scorer in their previous game, but uh, only tallied eight points. Definitely not her usual number, so she would want to get this win against the PLDT high speed hitters. <laughs> The signal will open things up here. Kayuna serving. Fajardo opening up Bedonia. Bedonia trying to go for a long hit there, but not on top the ball well. This is this set is crucial for PLDT again. For PLDT, they would want to win in three or four sets to be able to get the three points that they need to tie things up with the Cherry Tigo crossovers. But Jelka Yun has other plans <laughs> for that as she gets a service ace. They've been serving hard here, yo. talking about Signal. Signal really on the top of serving overall. It's back-to-back -back service aces for Jelka Yuna. Kayuna, fourth in service overall, Re really lethal from that service line, and she continues to target mm -hmm. Davison. Service error, though. Mm -hmm. They give uh, PLDT their first point here. There's Erika Santos. She had a magical headshot mm -hmm. earlier in that second set, point. which is a crucial shot. Just wasn't enough to win the set. And Keisha Bedonia is currently down. She's holding on to her left foot. We do hope she's okay here. She's been big part mm -hmm. for PLDT in today's game. She started the game. So Sebalios, their usual starter, coming in for Bedonia. Take a look at what happened there. She stepped mm -hmm. on the foot of Majoy Baron. 
She was able to walk it off. It was a good sign. And meanwhile, action continues here. For Texas there to us on uh, Troncoso. Santos now serving. Molina. Cayuna. Troncoso. Pinabawi. <laughs> That's true. Troncoso makes up for that attack air earlier. You can look at this replay of that uh, attack. Avoiding Ceballos and that one. Perfectly executed by Troncoso. She now transitions to the service line. Arado, first ball. To the back. Savvy. Getting it off the blocker's hands. Much needed point there. That's true, and that's the reason why Fajardo tried to look for Davison from the back row, and Davison delivers that point off that loose block of Molina. She was a little quieter in that second mm -hmm. set, yeah. Again, the errors of a PLDP. Well, even though they are committing it in the start of the set, it can be costly towards the end stretch. Jackie Acuna getting the bulk of the playing time here. Like we said, she's been a revelation here late in the season. Oh, and it goes inside. No chinks that time, Ayel. and Arado. Letting that go, I mean, very uncharacteristic because Ceballos and Arado also great passers on the side of PLDT. <laughs> Fajardo sends it to Davison, who fires a bullet. Fast low set from Fajardo to Davison. A lot of gaps in that block. Easy outing for Davison. Here comes Cayuna. She gives it to Molina, who rolls. Fajardo will go back to Savvy. This time they go to the middle. Counter with the middle, Palomata, Katindig will play center. Gonzaga goes cross. Gonzaga really has provided the intensity on the side of the HD Spikers. Take a look at that attack, avoiding Palomata. And she tells Don Katindig right after, Uy, nice set, sabi niya. That's what you were hearing. Need some affirmations from our teammates as well. Kayuna combination that was checked. Calf. We go to Savvy, which was denied by Jill Kayuna. Red well there by Jill Kayuna. Signal now doubling the score of PLDT as we head on over to a technical timeout. Arena Plus, Astig Sports. Earlier we saw a scary fall from Keisha Bedonia, but Lexi Rodriguez has a report regarding her status. So, Lexi, what do you have? Right. Well, Jaime and Ayel, I have a quick update on the side of Keisha Bedonia. You know, this was caught by, you know, stepping on the foot of Majoy Baron, but 
I got a quick word from her and she said that she's okay. Just a little hurt on her side. Her right ankle was actually getting stretched by their PT earlier. And now she's getting iced on that part of her body. But you know, on the positive note, I noticed here from the sidelines of the PLDT high-speed hitters, they're in a more positive and laid-back attitude. But obviously, this reminds me of the conversation I also had with Savvy earlier. Hopefully, we'll see a 100% performance from the side of the PLDD high-speed hitters, despite the lack, uh, the absence of Tisha Bedonia. But obviously, right now, the signal is the HD Spikers are dominating the match. And you can watch this via the Filipinas Live app, where this is available for Filipinos everywhere. Now, back to the panel. As we see that uh, right foot solution din yata yung banana. May hawak siya na banana. But we do hope she's okay. Mm -hmm. She's been a big part. We're gonna dig though from Signal. Here comes Savvy. Great dig from Janela in the first attempt of a Davison. But in the second attempt, she put more speed, uh, more power to get that point. That's important going back to Lexi's report that despite trailing here mm -hmm. by four, you need to have that positive attitude, yung body language, which I don't know if no last game versus Cherry Eagle when they were down. That's true. They need to stay composed again. A high stakes game for them. They can't be rattled. Because now they are trailing by three. Came for hard, though. He will be set to serve. Kayuna adjusts. Free ball, PLDT. Fajardo will choose Savvy. He was checked. Davison will try again. Not a lot of wrist action that time. A consistent attack coming from uh, Davison. But again, as you mentioned, lack of wrist action. At some point, how much can Savvy take being the recipient of those serves? Another service ace. Ces Molina doing everything here. We've seen her block, we've seen her serve, and we've seen her attack. 13 point for Ces Molina. The timeout is called on the side of PLDT. Good pass and a better attack that's what they need, but they need it right now because of the signal is the spikers has been leading and controlling this game. They don't want a big gap. So Signal now at a five-point advantage. Our first referee speaking to the team captains here. So Molina still serving. Well, one key part of the storyline here in the first three sets has been the serves, like you mentioned, the yell of Signal, they have been right on target and take a look at the attack efficiency there for Cess. 36% so far. Combination ended with a bang. Davison with another point. Again, whenever she gets the set and the right height, she's able to deliver. As this spike of the set is brought to you by Duncan Pasalubong ng Bayan. Nice pass from Molina. Troncoso. No rebound that time for the LDT. Troncoso has a step up so far for PLDT. And the battle of the benches. Rusa Monte played well in that first set. Troncoso had a couple of crucial points in that second. As the chess match continues here. Both coaches uh, making some adjustments that uh, they are hoping that will work. Doria serves to Arado. Fajardo sets to Ceballos. Met by the blockers. 
Nice quick attack. And Paolo Matanao, who is in double figures, scores once again. Again, Fajardo provides the stability here for the high speed hitters. Look at this composure. Side set going to Palomata. No blocker there. Cayuna kneeling set. Troncoso with a wind up. Fajardo wanting savvy from the back. Chase. Chance ball. Easy regalo by Joe Cayuna. Having great effort from the high speed hitters to recover that rally, but uh, that third touch went straight to Cayuna. Take a look at the effort of uh, Fajardo, and you have Ceballos and Palomata, but straight to Cayuna, who was ready for that one. Because the last attempt, niya, it was uh, straight to the net, so it's a little giggle. Ceballos was neutralized. Troncoso pushes. Arado, bump set. Ceballos one more time. Here comes Cayuna with the back set to Gonzaga. Everything going well right now for the HD Spikers. A very different set compared to the first two sets wherein they went neck and neck right now. Clearly Signal dominating this set so far. That was Gonzaga's 10th point. She is also in double figures. Better pass by Savi. Samonte opting to go cross. Also blown in favor of PLDT there. They need this. They need Ceballos and Samonte to step up coming off the bench for them to get this set. Again, for PLDT, they want to win in four sets. Another nice pass from Molina. But that hit from Acuna. Acuna was a little long. Good set there coming from uh, Cayuna. Fortunately, too wide for Acuna. Mini run here for PLDT. Samonte, sharp serve. Troncoso. Gel this time. Miss Q. Chance here for PLDT to counter. They go to Ceballos. Drop ball won't work. Signal scrambling in that net. Right now, PLDT inching closer. A run here by PLDT forcing Signal to call a timeout. Sando ka mabait? Yeah. Ah. Mo, mo. Yes, Di naman nahirap yung ginagawa eh. Correct mo lang. Okay? Tapos pag pinapalo, pinapalo mo doon sa labas oh. Doon mo paluin sa dito. Nandito naman yung blocker mo. Pero diyan mo pinapalo. The play of that attack from Cepalios. Signal scrambling in that one. And Kuchaka wanting them to be more aggressive, uh, probably in the net defense as well as in the offense. So more power for mm -hmm. Kuchak. It's PLDT now trying to inch closer. It's a 3-0 run for PLDT. Samonte serving. Cayuna setting. Gonzaga on the move. Gonzaga getting that point off the hands of Fajardo. If you look at this replay, two blockers with Gonzaga. But uh, that hands were open. And a service ace, even Troncoso, is joining the party here. And that service ace will be sending us to our second technical timeout.
Arena Plus, a stake to sports. We return after the second technical timeout of the third set. Majoy Baron currently with eight points. Along with Palomata with 10, the middle blockers of PLDT looking to back up Davison who has 18 points. But Chai Troncoso, this has been vital here for Signal with a service ace earlier on. As Baron, much needed point there for PLDT to stop the bleeding. Nice point of uh, Majoy Baron. Uh, the next points will be crucial for the high speed hitters. They want to close this gap. But there needs to be a sense of urgency as well for PLDT. Oh. The crucial the new point system. The service air there for Ceballos. Again, in the second set, although PLDT had more attack points, they committed more errors. And uh, right now, they really need to look into that. 17 serving 12. Fajardo to Savvy Davison. When you need a point, just give it to your top score here. That's true. Sharp cross court attack there coming from Davison. Take a look at the shot, really angling that one well. Gandler neutralized by the blockers. Savvy denied by the blockers. Davison this time goes for the hands to the quick. Wipe it in. Gonzaga from the right pin. Baron will play secondary setter. Savvy looking to find an angle, not yet. Troncoso from the back, sailing outside. But a challenge is called for a signal block touch challenge. They were three for three mm -hmm. in that second set. That was coming from a back row attack of uh, Troncoso. They're saying that Palomata had a block, had a touch on that ball before it sailed out. PLDT fighting hard for every point here. It has been a signal leading all the way. The obvious no there. Mm -hmm. Challenge will be unsuccessful. That's also because Tromposo really intentionally avoided Palomata. You saw that from her risk action in the three play. So they trimmed this lead down to three. They set up Gonzaga with a monstrous kill. Another good attack coming from Gonzaga. Jov Gonzaga. This is a throwback performance from her. Firing from all cylinders. Fajardo looking to bounce back with Palomata. Janela bumps it. That one too strong, so PLDT. Mm -hmm. Three point for PLDT as uh, Cayuna and uh, Janela sort of had a miscue there. The reason why Janela wasn't able to control that ball. For hard the serving. Vanny left pin. He's been quiet here in the third set, looking to make some noise, Vanny Gandler. That was the fifth point of Gandler, fast, low set. And Gandler, what an angle for her. PLDT not ready for that one. Vanny serving here, playing to a four-point advantage. Troncoso with the dig to an attack. Free ball signal. Cayuna back to Troncoso. Ceballos with good defense. Davison looking to go down the line. Quick, checked. Bump set to Savvy. And this time she outpowers the blockers. 
more than effort from both teams, you know, to stay organized and floor defense. They have stayed composed, but take a look at that uh, Davison attack. Too high, too powerful for the HD spikers. Troncoso from the left pin. Nabuhay. Katindik backpedals. They set up Troncoso this time going for the tip. Outsmarting the floor defense of the high speed hitters. Choosing speed over power. Talking about uh, Troncoso. Even through the hands of Palomata on that one. That was a great play from Chai Troncoso, giving Signal a four-point lead here. Troncoso has been quite the magic boonot, really, for Coach Shaq De Los Santos. Better pass from Savi. Samonte looking to go deep. A little too deep that time. Long there for Samonte. This is crucial for PLDT. Signal just four points away in getting this set. Samonte. Vanny. Fajardo will set up Savi. Acuna. <laughs> one on one versus Del Palomata. She wins that battle. Oh, Palomata was there. She knew. He had the advantage. <laughs> but uh, Acuna with some power in that one. Ceballos denied. Classic signal blocking there. It has been a signal all throughout. This third set, PLDT hasn't found a way to recover. And Palomata getting a much needed quick point there on that quick attack. And a much needed point there for the high speed hitters. Better pass this time, and uh, Fajardo able to set up the middle. So Gonzaga could not contain that attack. PLDT needs a run right now. Caseo has been entering as a service specialist here for PLDT. Nice serve there from Caseo. Giving PLDT a free ball. Fajardo opting to go middle, which was red. <laughs> By who else? Jackie Acuna with four points now. Acuna has been a revelation in this game for the HD Spikers against a taller Majoy Baron. Did you see who was clapping? It was Riri Meneses, Gloria, <laughs> and Kasugut. <laughs> Three middle blockers <laughs> cheering for their own as we arrive at set point here. Ceballos and the blocking. Wins them, set number three. Here's that HD wall again, Ayel. Solid blocking formation there. Acuna and Gonzaga teaming up to get the last point for the third set. So after losing the first set, they come back to win two straight as they win the third set here, 25 to 17.
Third set, fastest set so far. Signal HD Spikers winning 25-17. Now up two sets to one. Take a look at some of that set three highlights. Well, the main theme of what happened in that third set was the blocking of Signal. Of course, Majoy Baron, Del Palomata being activated in the middle blocker position. One problem as well for PLDT has been their receptions here. As we take a look at this play, one of the many blocks of Signal. Jackie Acuna has been a revelation, of course, from that middle blocker position. We take a look at the statistics. Even out at 11 points, PLDT actually having less errors with only five, but it's been the blocks, as we mentioned, with four to zero, and the aces, five aces for Signal. As we see how PLDT will bounce back after that tough third set. So clear indication done, Ayel, four aces to the zero, four blocks rather, to the zero of PLDT. Five aces as well for Signal. So yung serving and blocking really True. evident in that third set. That's where they stepped up and that's where the separation happened. So right now, necessary adjustments on the side of uh, the PLDT is needed because the adjustment of putting in Acuna, Troncoso, and uh, putting Gandler back on the court has worked for the HD Spikers. But right now here, we also see adjustments on the side of uh, PLDT. We have uh, Santos back on the court. As uh, it was a Monte ending that set, and you have a Caseo. This is the most important set of PLDT's conference so far. But Signal continues to look confident as uh, Acuna gets the first point. And I'm reading the body language of Kasugo, uh, Riri Meneses, Doria. Si Acuna is the most like you said. Kaya may mga stage ate pala siya dyan. <laughs> and you know, of all the players on the side of the HD Spikers, you see evident improvement on Acuna. Could have been a little claps of uh, just being proud ates. There's that slide attack from Acuna. Nabuhay ni Fajardo. Arado sending a free ball as they go to Gonzaga. Whistle was blown. So Signal with a great start here. There's that replay. That touch there. Called on Seo. Misreceive. Passing has been a problem on the side of the high-speed hitters. Acuna being activated by Cayuna there as it's a 3-0 run. Now let's turn it over to Lexi for your report. Lexi. Hi there, and Ayel. Luck may just have moved to the side of the Signal HD Spikers, but let me tell you that this is not all just luck. It's built upon the reminder of Coach Shaq earlier in the huddle that, you know, they should shift the mindset to a more positive one. You, they were actually playing a bit more stiff in that first part of the match. Right now, they're playing, they're looking to play a bit more, you know, loose, a bit more positive, and approaching this the fourth set with a more positive mindset. Now, earlier today, actually, says Molina was getting stretched on her right leg because actually she was getting cramps as the update of their coach but now we're looking to see more action from her in this fourth set now this report is brought to you by the philippines live app where you can watch games pbl games live and in hd anywhere any anytime and anywhere in the world now back to you Jaime Neil. thank you lexi so says molina currently not in mm -hmm. the floor right now but Signal, speaking of that report, looks a lot more loose. That's true. Looking more confident, decisive, uh, more organized. And speaking of organized, that was an organized play from Kim Fajardo to Davison. That's what they need. They need a Davison. Deliver points. As she does from the back throw. Great angle there. Avoiding Acuna. Tied at two. Gandler, first pass. Gonzaga tried to roll. 
Fajardo opens up. That's Bedonia. Oh, check that, that's Casillo. Cayuna this time to Troncoso. Pancake save, it's good. There's that roll shot by Casillo. Gonzaga with some power. Davison with the hustle. This will give a free ball for Signal. Cayuna will up for Troncoso with a push. Casillo with the power. Fajardo sets from the pipe. Savvy. And she will not get the point as that one was too long. Are they going to challenge that one? Yes, they will. Ball in, ball out challenge. Because Savvy was convinced that it was inside. But the uh, players on the side of a signal was saying is it was out. So let's see if this is going to be a successful challenge for the high-speed hitters. And again, this is an important set for them if they want to extend this match. Hit the line uh, clearly. Ball in there for Davison. That was the 21st point for Savvy Davison. Just another day at the office for her. That's true. Cayuna. Play set for Gonzaga. Savvy from the back. That one was way outside for Savvy. Wanting to target the same zone. A lot of risk action there. Magic Buno Chai Troncoso. Mm -hmm. Of the second set will now be serving. Not the best receive once again for PLDT. They tried to improvise and Sheila Caseo improvising and scoring. That's true. I mean, an out of system set. Too tight for her, but extended her arm. Just trying to push that one in. Kayuna not ready for that. Pace to be athletic, Ayel. Mm -hmm. Kayuna sprints to get that set across as Vanny looking to make some more noise here in the fourth set. Offensively, uh, Signal has really stepped up. It was one department that uh, they didn't perform uh, so well in the first two sets. But right now, better attacking on the side of Signal. Fajardo zips it to Savvy offhand. Bumped by Cayuna. Gandler looking to go across. Fajardo. Davison with a roll shot. Calf. Opting for Savvy once again. And off the block, count the point. PLDT takes back the lead. More explosive approach from uh, Davison. Can look at this one. More power as well to get that point. Five serving four. Kayuna. Gandler. This time to Doria. Doria activated there by Kayuna. The quick attack works. Tight start here. The same start in the first two sets. You were mentioning it yeah, in terms of tempo. Medyo iba yung third set. It really favored signal. Well, Davis has been working so hard. He's been working a lot for the high-speed hitters. As you mentioned earlier, Signal has been targeting her from the serve. That's a service error for Signal. We are tied at six. Another deadlock in the start of this fourth set. Fajardo with a full front line. Cayuna to the quick. Fajardo, back set. Santos. There's a brief pause there. Uh, Signal taking advantage. 
straight pass Pacardo to Santos but uh, Gander was uh, ready for that one and the blocking you mentioned that that's one department they improved in the third set and right now they're able to translate that momentum here Savvy just targeted give and go what a dig by Janela Troncoso Reflexes by Arado. Savvy elevates and detonates. Davison has been carrying the load and scoring for the high speed hitters. This spike of the set is brought to you by Duncan Pasalubo ng Bayan. And you know, she's been targeting the same zone, but there's more power each time. Unfortunately, a service error there coming from Davison. And unfortunately for PLDT, there's a lot of service errors for them as for the service aces for Signal as the technical timeout here, Signal up by one. Back here in the city of Santa Rosa Sports Complex. Who would have ever thought they would be teammates, right? <laughs> One of our best setters in Kim Fajardo and the best liberos of the country, that is. There to help out Savvy Davison with 23 attack points. What else can you ask from Savvy Davison True. here? I mean, I mentioned earlier, she's been carrying the bigger load in terms of scoring, but uh, we mentioned this on top of you know, uh, the game during the pre-game that uh, she can't be that lone warrior for the HD Spikers. Someone really needs to step up in terms of scoring. Nice pass from Savvy. One player who has stepped up is Del Palomata. Who is also in double digits right now. 12 points for Palomata. Three times more than her last game versus Cherit Eagle. So she's been a huge help for the high speed hitters. In the meantime, Joust. Katindig, bump set, Troncoso, Doug. Fahar the set, to the back, Savvy. Vanny will counter from a back row. That's the specialty in the house. That's true. Vanny Gander from the back row. Very deadly. Swinging high. Exploding on that one. How many times have we seen her do that as Signal now retaking the lead with a full front line from Kayuna. Back set, right pin attack. Great floor defense. Vanny adjusts from the back. Fajardo transitioning to a quick. Janela bump set. Here comes Gonzaga. And Keisha sends it over. Troncoso with the approach. And PLDT showing us they have blocking as well. And they did. You know what worked for them in the set that they won. The first set was also their blocking. Take a look at this replay. Troncoso well guarded in the cross court attack by Majoy Baron. Tough back set. Troncoso scoring. Troncoso just flying from the right pin, going down the line. Great decision from Cayuna. The smaller blocker was there in Quiseo.
sharp serve from Troncoso. Queseo from that left pin. Fajardo. One-handed set. Acuna will not get the score that time. Good target there, but unfortunately, can't put that one in. So another deadlock here. Caseo started the game as a service specialist, mm -hmm. but Bedonia went down. So now she is getting some minutes for this error, though. When we were talking about this, Aya, they are number two in serving, but today it hasn't been the best That's true. Uh, yeah, performance. That's true. of them. And uh, all these errors coming from different uh, players, so it's really sort of a bad game day for them in terms of serving. Davison flying high for that one. Gonzaga. And Davison with a perfect placement. Smart move. Great show of urgency for Davison. Seeing that big hole. Deadlock at 11. Maron puts it up. Davison going down the line. Davison almost no blocker in that previous sequence. She is closing in on a 30-piece performance. And we're beginning to see the sense of urgency That's now uh, from PLDT. I mean, they're one point ahead. Gandler has checked at the net. Davison with some variations. Free ball signal. They go to Vanny once again, sending that one straight to Ayel Estraniero. Still have their volleyball <laughs> reflexes there, Ayel. Great huh? reaction. <laughs> Take a look at this replay. I mean, Davison just tipping that one over. They recover, but that, that gives Signal a chance to go for a side out. There was error for. Dov Gonzaga. Similar storylines in the first two sets. Uh, crawl to that 25th point. It's true. Fighting for every point. PLDT wants to extend this one. Meanwhile, Signal wants to close this in uh, four sets. To the open. Savi. Too long that time. Davison has been trying to avoid the blockers in a couple of sequences. as the reason why she wants to go sharp. Unfortunately, she's been having a hard time in executing one. As Fernandez will check in for the very first time in this game. Double substitution here for the high for the HD spikers. So C and Fernandez looking to provide an impact. As we are tied at 13, Gandler to serve. Fajardo to set. Chance here. Troncoso, double block was there. Gandler from the back. Great pickup from PLDT. Davison puts it down. What an effort coming from Queseo to go over the floor defense and Davison. Again, just hammering that one in. Take a look at the dig of Keseo extending her arms. And uh, again, Davison. This is what she's been trying to do. C to Doria. Great execution there for Signal. Tying things up at 14. That's true. Doria not getting a lot of sets, but whenever she gets one, she gets a point. And now Rose Doria will be serving. Keseo. Won't be able to convert that time. Tried to go for a placement shot.
Back set, Santos with the cross court. You see outing there for Santos. So we haven't heard from her for a while now. A much needed point there for her. They need to get things going from Santos. Especially Savis in the back mm -hmm. row. That's true. The serve to Troncoso. Giselle going middle to Fernandez. Quiseo. Getting dig with a pickup from the back. Vanny. It goes inside once again. Vandler on the same spot to get that point. Queen of back rows. <laughs> we'll be sending us to a technical timeout here. Take a look at that one more time. Hard fans of Santa Rosa Laguna. Such a great venue. We've had a couple of great games here. It was the Creamline Petrogas game, and there's the Sold Cherry Creamline as well. Reason why we keep on coming back to Santa Rosa. The crowd has been never disappointed. And this game has not disappointed as well. As it's been a close one here in the fourth set. With Jalka Yuna serving. So signal. They are out of contention. PLDT. This is a must-win game. As five teams are vying for four spots. Kayuna, combination play. And Zaga will be the recipient. Gonzaga going down the line this time. Great play there with Acuna going for the back quick. Uh, Majoy Barron was late in closing the block. A little bit more cushion here for Signal. Davison, better pass. Santos from that right pin. Janel keeps it in play. Free ball, PLDT. They will go to Santos from the middle. Santos uh, gets a point. This time, then go for a uh, deep attack. Going long, targeting zone one. Perfect execution there. Samonte now re-entering the game with DMAC, which was a, a great combo in the beginning of this game, that double substitution. Let's see if they can make a difference here. DMAC to serve. Gander the target. The set to Troncoso. Set outside. Why there for Trumpos who was trying to target the zone of the Makulangan. Two straight points for PLDT, tied at 17 here. Good substitutions here for PLDT. Sharp serve from Rhea. Gonzaga was met at the net. Arado will play setter. Samonte 
finding the donut hole, and PLDT takes back the lead. Great set also from Kat Arado. Take a look at this replay, even Samonte not ready for that one, but again, almost no blockers, choosing speed to get that point. As a timeout is called here from Signal, they are now trailing by one. Yeah, Saka, like she said, smile. Sa kanila to. <laughs> because there's really no pressure That's for true. a signal, but you can see here they're playing with a lot of pride there. Yeah. She mentioned playing loose, playing more confident compared to the first two sets that uh, they played. Pressure right now is on PLDT. Another sharp serve for Dimac. Troncoso challenging the double block. Troncoso has really stepped up big in today's game. As uh, Kayuna sets her up again, took advantage of that loose block, made sure she hit that ball before uh, Baron closes down the, that block. Dimap, nothing to go to Baron that time. Pump set to Gonzaga, sent back. So they go to Vanny from the other side. Kayuna making the blockers work on the side of the high-speed hitters, pushing that out to Gandler. Both blockers late, and closing the block. And Signal is doing all this without Ces Molina. Mm -hmm. Vanny has stepped up in the scoring department. In the meantime, Caseo's approach won't go. Vanny with a full approach. I think that was a net touch, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Clear one. So both teams neck and neck again towards this end stretch. It was a gambler. Scraping the net, hitting the net on her way down. I think I've seen this film before. Trucoso, <laughs> nice first pass. Vani Pinabawe at Bumawe. So what a time for Trocoso, Gandler, and Acuna to step up. Another explosive attack there from Vani Gandler. Vani looks highly motivated right now in this fourth set to finish things off. Rado, set up Davison, easy up there by Cayuna as they go to Joe Gonzaga. Oh, a regalo almost. Savvy with a tough angle. Kayuna will go back to the hot hand. That one was red. They reverse it. And that block was set outside. And a signal with a two point lead. Again, great playmaking. Great decision so far from Jal Kayuna. Gonzaga took advantage of that block of a Davison who was still in transition. Timeout called PLDT. They are trailing by two points here. to execute they need to score a point because a signal looking determined having the momentum to finish this match in four sets 21 serving 19 
to say your first ball. Savvy. Is there a check there, yeah? Mm -hmm. Your block touch, touch there on the side of a signal. Again, this is the rotation earlier where they were able to go for a run. Sharp serve. Majoy Baron serving it to her former teammates. Again, Majoy Baron is the leading scorer of the H of the high speed hitters. 2-0 run for PLDD. It's Signal's turn to call a timeout. Jai, umadjust ka dito. Yung nandito ma may pagdumipensa, stay na lang yun dyan. Sige pa ko. Para manipis ha. Kaya lagay niya dito eh. Okay? Kaya nagagawa dito. O, isa muna magandang pass ha. Ha? Tapos atake. Kailangan matapang yung atake natin ha. Tapos cover lang tayo. Okay? Pag nakuha nila, block defense ulit ha. Pa-cover kami. Pa-cover. Pa-cover ha. Sa likod. Hey, di ba ya? Sa atin to. Signal! Awesome! Take a look at this. Service ace. Of a Majoy Baron. Fourth and points needed here by the high speed hitters. Do or die moment now for PLDT. Vanny. Baron was there. Oh, no second ball for the high speed hitters. Signal. Well, now take control with a one-point lead. Signal looking really good in the end stretch of this set. So if Signal wins in four sets, the semis cast is complete. As Vanny Gandler goes cross, dug by Arado. Savvy on the attack. She has other plans. <laughs> Again, as I mentioned, important points here for the high-speed hitters as uh, Davidson off the hand of Kayuna. They know what is at stake right now, talking about the high-speed hitters. They are in a good rotation with Davison, Santos, and Palomata in the front row. Will they be able to capitalize on this? Kayuna kneeling set. Gandler denied. Joust won by PLDT. PLDT still alive here. Now with one set up, with one point up. Palomata definitely with a height advantage on that one. She has been a towering presence here for PLDT. Looking to force a fifth set. Says Molina just checked in. I'm okay. He's all right. <laughs> so it says Molina. Remember that set that they won, that second set wherein it was a neck and neck towards the end stretch. It was Cesc Molina getting the points and Cesc Molina serving. And right now we have Cesc Molina on the service line for the HD Spikers. Lexi mentioned she was suffering from a bit of cramps, but she seems to be okay based on that one play. Arado, Davison, dug by Molina, Troncoso, dug by Caseo. Here comes Savi. Cayuna looking to go one, two. Calf to the quick. Katindig was there. High free ball. Arado, Fajardo, Savi. And she takes back the lead. Davison knows her role. Going down the line there. Perfect spot. Clean attack coming from Davison. We are now at set point. Broncosa looking to extend. This is the third set we have had an extension. 
as Chaitro Rosso coming up in the clutch. Chai Troncoso has been that girl for the HD Spikers. Queseo neutralized by the blockers as they go to Troncoso. And a wall of PLDT allows them to regain advantage here, set point. Take a look at this replay. I mean, it was obvious that Zelka Luna was going to was gonna go to Tramposo. She was the only option there, but two blockers in front of her. And uh, Ceballos with a very important serve right now. Troncoso was the target. Cayuna. Acuna, and Jackie Acuna. The revelation here in this game ties us up at 25 apiece. We saw a game like this coming from Acuna mm -hmm. from that last game. She was true. what we call a silver lining. Mm -hmm. Bright spot, talking about bright spots for the HD Spikers, Troncoso and Acuna, both coming off the bench in this game. Fajardo going right pin, Santos puts it down. Santos getting that point down the line to put them at set point. Gel wanting Troncoso and PLDT will be forcing a set number five. What a time for them to come alive towards the end stretch. But first, we have a block touch challenge from the side of Signal. We're still not done with this set. This could be a good challenge for the HD Spikers. So if the challenge is unsuccessful, we will be heading to a fifth set. Mm -hmm. So the scenario was signal if they won in four sets, the semis cast would have been complete. It's a good challenge for the HD Spikers who are still not done with this set. That is close. Oh. What a game so far. Multiple lifelines here mm -hmm. for Signal. Again, a semi-final slot at stake for the high-speed hitters. So instead, the point will go to Signal there. Mm -hmm. And now they have regained the lead after another exceptional block from the HD Spikers. And I read it back. With a block from a Gonzaga, who has been that leader for the HD Spikers in today's game. Fajardo, Savvy, goes for the soft touch. Molina, and the signal, HD Spikers, taking the win in the fourth set. Says Molina. 
coming alive towards that end stretch. Did not start in the fourth set, but when they needed her leadership, when they needed her point, she delivered. But Acuna, Troncoso, Jonella has really stepped up for the HD Spikers. A gambler as well was put back in the fourth set, really challenging. You know, the good defense of the high-speed hitters. Ses Molina suffering from cramps with some crucial attacks. Let's not forget how crucial mm -hmm. that challenge was for Signal. BLDT That's thought true. they had it again. But again, a successful challenge turned things around for the HD Spikers. We'll wrap things up when we return here, but three sets to one, Signal taking the win. Twenty-six, twenty-four, twenty-four, twenty-six, seventeen, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-eight. Another classic here in the Santa Rosa Sports Complex over here in Laguna. Thirty-eight minutes mm -hmm. to end that fourth set. It took one challenge to change the tides, True. and Ses Molina uh, finishing things off. But it was one player who was consistent all throughout. She is with Lexi right now, and she is our best player of the game, Lexi. Thanks, Jaime and Ayala. Big congratulations to the Signal HD Spikers and congratulations to setting best player of the game, none other than Jobs Gonzaga with 15 points, 11 attacks, 3 blocks, and 2 aces. Jobs, kamusta? Gano ka saya at gano ka importante na kahit walang semifinal spot, nanalo kayo ngayon? Um, ang sarap siya sa feeling na kahit hindi kami nakapasok, nakuha namin kasi yun ang hinihingi namin ng management sa amin. At the, at the same time, somehow, may, may balik kami sa management and also sa coaching staff na walang sawa talaga na magturo, magpokpok at tumintindi sa amin. Ayun, kaya sobrang thankful kami din kay Lord na binigay itong panalo sa amin. Na-mention mo yung pokpok, eh, no? Kanina, kitang-kita naman on court, kilala naman natin ikaw bilang napaka-vocal on court, yung pag-encourage, yung pagkausap sa mga players. Sa tingin mo, anong klaseng uh, importance nun yung nabibring to the team? Um, yung mga past game I fell short talaga and kaya naka-mindset ako this game na kailangan ko talaga mag-step up, kailangan ako ng team and kailangan ko rin i-inspire or motivate ang teammates ko para makuha namin tong panalong to. Now obviously you have one more game left, ano pa yung gusto nyo ma-achieve more than a win obviously? Um, gusto talaga namin matapos tong conference na to ng panalo and somehow may mabawon kami next conference na may hugot pa kami. So, ayun, um, expect kayo na ibibigay pa lalo namin yung best namin. So, was, meron ka bang mga gustong batiin, pamilya, kaibigan, mga fans here in Santa Rosa? Sa lahat ng mga fans, sa mga dito sa Lagun, salamat po! Feel na feel po namin yung pag-cheer nyo sa dulo, kaya nabuhayan kami lalo. Maraming salamat sa pagmamahal. Mga kumaris ko dyan! Thank you so much, family ko. Sa Filipino Army yan, lahat ng signal family na sumusuporta at walang sao nag-iintindi at nagmamahal sa amin. Congratulations again, Jobs. And to the rest of the Signal HG Spikers, Jaime and Ayel, let's wrap this up. Thank you very much, Lexi, and congratulations to Job Gonzaga and the Signal HD Spikers playing spoilers mm -hmm. because now as we take a look at the standings, they have made it uh, simpler 
Ayel, as we now have our final four, our semis bound teams. We have uh, Petrogas, Angel, Chocomucho Flying Titans, the Creamline Coast Smashers, and the Cherry Tigo Crossovers, you know, to complete the party for the semifinals. Now, as uh, per the competition director, Sherwin Malonzo, this is the final list of uh, the semi finals cast uh, PLDT this loss against Signal is very heartbreaking for them um, they are out of contention already they don't have any chance of uh, moving into the semifinals given the point difference there you have it Petrogas, Chocomucho, Creamline and Cherry Tigo will be our final four but more games on Tuesday as we go to the Phil Sports Arena in Pasig City at 4pm Capital One versus Nextled and Farm Fresh going up against Choco Mucho Flying Titan. So the action continues here on the Heart of Volleyball. But for now, it has been a pleasure uh, bringing you here in Santa Rosa Laguna. It is time to say goodbye for Lexi Rodriguez, Ayel Estreñero, Director Marvin Chavez. My name is Jaime Escalon. Thank you for watching the 2024 Premier Volleyball League All-Filipino Conference.